Attractors, the good, the bad, and the deadly. We, are surrounded by attractors. We are, attractors ourselves. If the word attractor, is not part of your everyday vocabulary, this talk is intended to remedy that. The word, is simple to explain, anything that pulls you, or other things towards it, is an attractor. A simple example, a magnet. There are many others. You are being pulled by attractors all the time, whether you realize it or not. It is time people become aware, of how attractors are changing our lives, for better and for worse. Other examples from everyday life include gravity, colleges, a convention, your bathroom, a political party, Google search. The Top Gun 2 movie has been a powerful attractor. Some attractors are good, some are bad. Some are really bad, meaning deadly. If you fall into certain attractors, you could easily become part of the many existing problems, all man-made. We will get to the dangerous inconspicuous attractors shortly. It is more likely that you have heard about strange attractors, probably the most common use of the word combination. These, are mathematical discoveries. A graph that looks like the two wings of a butterfly, is one of them. Not trivial knowledge at all. It helps to understand, that your heartbeats, are subject to strange attractor math, and if your heartbeat becomes too regular, you might die. In addition to biology, physics has its share of attractors, from the bottom of a bowl attracting a marble, to gravity, black holes, and of course the great attractor. This is a converging of galaxies at a very distant point in deep space, billions of light years away. Like a marble in a sink, eventually we would all end there, one very distant day. Notwithstanding the fact, that the other attractor closer to home, the solar system, would not exist by then. So look around you. How about a virus? These two are attractors, given their capacity infect more people, and turning them into virus replicators. Viruses, can be deadly in more than one way. They not only kill people. Our super symbolic, highly complex society itself, proved to be very vulnerable to COVID-19. The disruption it created, affected international commercial supply chains. It even brought Bitcoin, which was making its mark, as an attractor in the finance world, and the ultimate super symbolic entity, to its knees. Life is an attractor system, full of other sub-attractors. Living things, all types of human organizations, and even nation-states, are attractor systems. Not strange attractors, just the simple, plain vanilla type. In addition to being attractors, living things are living vortices, huge whirlpools, with a power to attract and channel energy, people and materials into creating a living, self-organizing structure. Picture a restaurant, the clients come in through one door. They eat, they pay, and they leave. A very circular motion. In and out. Through another door, the groceries and supplies come in, and the money goes out. The remaining money, pays the employees and the owner. When this positive flow stops, the restaurant dies. Death, is the collapse of a living attractor. Inputs and outputs, are out of balance. All living things, have a very negative side. They produce waste and must get rid of it. Living things, create order for themselves, at a cost to their environment. You have information on one side, and entropy on the other. Eventually, there comes a point, where the environment, a highly complex network of attractors, becomes incapable of metabolizing the trash. The living whirlpool loses energy, as more energy is consumed, compared to that coming in to replace the reserves. Businesses, start spending more money than they generate until they crash. Laws create artificial attractors. They bunch people into doing or not doing something. If a public policy is well thought, it can bring many benefits. For instance, having cars travel on the right side of the road, creates order for everybody. Bad laws and policy can bring many unsuspected tragedies. Laws and even ideas with attraction power, can be toxic to the well-being of a community. Think of little children wearing masks to school. This has been a policy with questionable benefits, but now harmful disabilities, are starting to appear. Here is another deadly attractor, cancer. Cancer cells, will grow out of control and rob the livelihood of the host organism. Memes, 
the information packages that we carry in our heads to solve all kinds of problems, can turn into attractors, for better or for worse. They can disperse through a population and create havoc. Like shouting fire in a theater or propagating a rumor of a devaluation. Social networks have proven their attraction power. Mostly for good, sometimes for worse. In extreme cases, young frustrated girls take their lives. Fake news also have this attraction power, simply because other pre-installed memes in a person's mind have prepared the ground to become receptive. Eventually, huge attractor ideas are packaged together, under an idealistic banner such as race equality, or social justice, or Black Lives Matter. The United States of America was a unique, experimental design, when it was founded. The attractors that held it together were the Declaration of Independence and the values there contained, and the U.S. Constitution, which established an innovative design of the people, by the people and for the people. The rules that make it work have been kept as simple as possible. These are, 1. We are born free and equal before the law. 2. We make the laws together. 3. Whatever changes the laws need, we decide together. Picture the United States, today. A huge attractor, that has worked for more than 230 years. It grew and grew. It has attracted millions, into the country. New energy sources, were found to keep it thriving. First came coal, then oil, gas, hydroelectric, nuclear, wind and solar. And more people came in. The population expanded. Today, huge amounts of energy are needed to feed the United States. So one day, a huge political attractor builds up that shows a great contempt for the original attractor system. Millions of people, climb into this attractor. It sounds so good. Green energy. For free. No waste, no environmental concerns. The media and the social networks and college professors pump up the volume. Demand green energy now. Kill carbon, kill oil, kill gas. Another huge attractor gathers strength, the woke movement a direct attack on the identity of the United States. And yet another one, called Black Lives Matter. Antifa, joins in radicalizing the street protests in the summer of 2020. Many people see that, and instead of condemning the riots and the destruction, they tolerate and pity the demonstrators. The attractor grows to a huge political sentiment. This system must change, now. Social attractors, become like living things. They create a mind of their own. In the 1800s, Gustave Le Bon said, that mass demonstrations acted like women, irrational and emotional. Today we say, mass demonstrations are attractors, that tend to amplify their communication lines to the outside world, and they filter out any ideas, that go against their accepted internal norms. Dialogue becomes impossible. These attractors, are not built to create new solutions, just to tear down the existing order. Many people, are easy victims of higher order manipulators, some of which are willing to donate some money, to get the attractor going. If so, people become useful idiots, combative, but empty vessels when it comes to solutions. So, they tear down statues. What happened to, the idea that we can change the laws together? That rule seems to, no longer apply. The enemies, and direct targets, of these radical attractor movements, are the Founding Fathers themselves, the U.S. Constitution and its history. In the United States attractor system, individual liberty is precious. The rules of the game, allow the dissidents, but the question is, what exactly is the system, they propose to take its place? At what cost? Nobody says, nobody knows. Nobody cares. The 2020 presidential elections took place, the official results, are a matter of history no going back. However, the refusal to concede the election, by the then sitting president, Donald J. Trump, has many people with growing doubts. Was the election Stalin? Rudolph Giuliani, said a huge conspiracy took place, but he could not prove it. Bill Barr, the attorney general at the time has said that the Department of Justice saw no evidence of fraud, and obviously, no conspiracy either. I know how attorneys think. We are trained to think linearly and prove cause and effect. Guilty or not guilty. However, 
I am also a cybernetician and it is plain to me to realize that neither Giuliani nor Barr, can see an attractor at work. They were not trained to see attractors in law school. Legal corporations are reluctantly called legal fictions, instead of recognizing the reality of an attractor system. Attractors are informal. The FBI, recognized this when it said that Antifa does not have a formal structure. Attractors are real and can explain electoral fraud without the need to prove the existence of a conspiracy. If you see a tree, you can bet your house, that it has roots underneath though nobody can see them. The electoral fraud tree had many improbable and rare fruits hanging from its limbs. As I said, the law is blind to attractors. So, after the election and after the 6th of January, a new government comes in and amplifies its attractor power all it can. But most importantly, the new government stops the flow of new energy. We shall only use green energy, nothing else. New exploration and production is brought to a halt. Nobody stops to consider that the renewable energy sources, including wind, hydroelectric, solar, biomass, and geothermal energy, is about 12.0% of the total energy and 21% of the electricity generated in the United States. You start buying outside, what you could produce yourself. You technically become dependent, instead of an autonomous viable system. It is not hard to picture what happens. Inflation, high gas prices. The United States must be fed. However, using foreign oil and gas is a direct hit to the treasury. Dollars won't last forever. Other countries have it worse. They seem incapable of creating a life-sustaining whirlpool of job opportunities. People migrate. Whatever little structure existed, is weakened. The whirlpool stops. Whatever little attraction force was possible, becomes impossible. The attractor dies. People have to run for their lives. And where do they go? To the United States. The only attractor that was gaining strength during the summer of 2020 was the Democratic electoral machine. Electoral fraud is another case of a self-reinforcing attractor. The riots of 2020 set the apparent moral legitimacy of things to come. The COVID-19 virus set the technical legitimacy of the mail-in voting. Local laws, legislators, and even constitutions, were bypassed. A $400 million input was enough to tip the scale in the key electoral districts of six states. Attractors do not require a conspiracy. Someone sets up the privatized drop boxes. Then the mules did their job, caught by thousands upon thousands of cameras and phone tracking. The evidence of illegal voting is staggering. Behind the scene, are two other very powerful attractors that promote the culture of death to the United States, the United Nations and the World Economic Forum. They are constantly amplifying any signals having to do with the green energy, woke culture, and the victimization of minorities. They do not in any way suggest a concrete alternative government system except one where the elites themselves tell the world what to do. The United States stands in their way. So today, we see that this ideological attractor, is behind the Biden attractor. They want a Pyrrhic victory. It has brought immediate economic devastation. Its extreme policies are suicidal. Now a bigger and more powerful attractor will self-organize to turn things around starting in November 2022, less than 100 days from now.